So we've driven the Model S around before, but now it's time for a Model S to drive us around. So we're here for an early preview of Tesla's upcoming autopilot features being introduced to the Model S and the Model X. You know, some people might say it's a little bit crazy to uh, drive to let a uh, beta version of a self-piloting car drive you around. And to them, I would say you are correct, but let's go. All right, one point right off the bat. Tesla's auto steering stuff doesn't turn the Model S into a full-blown self-driving car. You don't get to hop in the car and punch in your destination and just conk out for a nap. You still have to pay attention, you still need to keep your hands on the wheel, and the features are primarily useful for making your highway commutes less painful. When the car has a good sense of the road ahead, an icon on the dash lights up to tell you that you can enable auto steering. To enable it, you just pull the cruise control stick twice. Once you're on the highway, it keeps you in your lane, follows the car ahead of you, unless they try to drive off a cliff or something, and maintains your speed. I had my hands hovering just off the wheel, and it took me around bend after bend without issue. It's like a super advanced version of cruise control. I don't know where to put my hands. <laughs> <laughs> don't expect it to work in city streets very much. It'll technically work, but it doesn't know how to do things like, you know, stopping at stoplights. So you're still going to be doing a lot manually in the city streets. It'll also change lanes for you automatically. Just pop on the blinker, loosen your grip on the wheel, and it'll glide into that next lane once it's safe. If the car's AI starts to have any doubt that it can handle the steering, it'll let out an escalating series of alerts to encourage you to grab the wheel. If for some reason you don't grab the wheel, it throws on your emergency blinkers and slows the car to a stop. Oh, and it'll pay a little park for you, which is great for that person in everyone's life who's always asking, can I fit there? I think I can fit there, only to spend 15 minutes proving that they cannot, in fact, fit there. In our short time with the autopilot features, it all worked, for the most part. While the car never once did anything that made me feel unsafe, or like I was out of control, there were times when things I expected it to do just didn't happen. I'd turn on my signal to trigger an auto lane change and the car would just sit in the same lane. With that said, Tesla is flying a big beta flag on this software build, which is actually kind of crazy to think about. People are used to beta testing their video games and their Gmail, but their cars? Either way, the first version of Tesla's autopilot software should hit Model S's and Model X's later this week.